see if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> Apparently, it's not just red now in that cutscene while well, that cutscene was playing. So I get into a car. Like, I didn't mean to shoot, I meant to go on arm. But... but now I've got lots of officers of the law after me, I have no idea how to get out of here. Drive down here. Hey Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now I realized in my excitement I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Anyway. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts. So if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. How do I want to be on arm in the car. That's it. Yeah. So you can do it, you can scare. Then drive off. Yeah. Whoa. Just hold the middle finger up to everyone. Oh, I've gone the wrong way, damn it. Alright, rectifiable. And how do you know it's well when you drive at this, this speed? Apparently we've got to go into where we've got to go quietly. Oh, she got killed. A most painful death. It hit in the face of a car and crushed between two cars. I mean, cow and turn. Let's go. I say, I haven't done one of these wheels in yet. Not be so easy to do in. I was supposed to go in quietly. Oh god, it's gonna be stealth mission in it. Some 
minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Yanni, you nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. How am I gonna do that? Aha, uh -huh. can I jump on these? Yes. Oh, you didn't notice me then. A lot of hits come up here. Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. Club ain't open, Snowbird. Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. They'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> Don't stop! Kicking the ball, kicking the ball. Oh no, not in the chopper. Just ho hold on. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. 
chops out that bad to the fly, you just gotta get a hang out of it. Yeah, flying it slow is harder than flying it fast. It'll do. Oh, you're yeah, having a laugh. I need to move it a foot to the right. I know Solomon is anxious to see you. <laughs> what a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy. You're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya. So Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. You're too kind. No, no, I mean I don't need to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Right, let's get on with next mission. Beans with a D. The D. No, it's Carl off to do. Oh, rest me. Not me to sneeze in. Unless somebody came over me. <laughs> 